Good morning, everyone. This is Chris Murray. Come back at you with yet another Let's Try. And today on the docket, I feel like I should be introducing this as a film foodie because a place that has no business making a pizza made a pizza. Today on the docket, we have ba -da -ba -ba, Taco John's Taco Pizza. Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Oh lord, again, I'm I'm at risk of alienating my older audience members. And come to think of it, probably some of my younger audience members too. Like that episode aired in like 99. <laughs> but it's one of the more heavily memed episodes of Spongebob too, so I think most people have probably seen it at this point. Anyway, so yes, Taco John's. A taco chain known for its Pot known for its uh, tater tots with taco seasoning, and its top, and you know, like just being just a little bit better than Taco Bell, came up with this. And this definitely does look to be some kind of thin crust or flatbread. But let's take a bite and find out. Oh man, that is a pre made crust if I've ever seen it. Oh, and there seems to be some of their spicy ranch from their fish tacos on there. Over lips. Past the gums. Watch out, stomach. Here it comes. Mm. A lot of baked beans on this. But, you also have the salt from the taco meat. You have the cheese, you have the, you have the lettuce, you have the tomatoes. You have some crunchy bits on the bottom here. I can see some little, like, tortilla shells. Some, like, cr crunchy tortilla bits. Maybe some onions? I'm not sure. What, what makes me very curious is how they prepared this, because... I don't think Taco John's has, like, a pizza oven. They may have a toaster oven. Which, given this... Like, this is just slightly bigger than what I think you could put in an industrial toaster oven. No, maybe not. Other toaster ovens you can put frozen pizzas in. Now, let's set this down a minute. The best part of my April Fool's Day props is that they never really disappear. They just get incorporated into the show. Honestly, though, I should be filling this with water, because, as I've said in the past, the, the Taco John's food is very salty. But, like, you kind of expect that with pizza, don't you? Like, because you always have that really greasy, salty pepperoni. Well, I mean, usually you have cured meats on there. Anyway, let's get another slice going. This time we'll try it with a mild sauce. Y'all ever do that where you shake the packet so that it all sits at one end? Now, of course, this is going up against what is possibly one of the best taco pizzas in the business, Casey's. I mean, heck, there are even two restaurant chains that you only really see in Iowa. Mmm. I'm not really certain that Casey's corporate headquarters is in Des Moines. Or I might be thinking of Hy-Vee. Mm. Honestly, the... 
the mild sauce adds a lot of flavor to it that evens out a bit. It comes off as almost sweet compared to all the rest of it. How much sugar is in this thing? It's the fourth listed ingredient, so pretty, so pretty sugary. I will say though, like, this is actually pretty decent. The only thing that's holding it back for me is the crust because the crust has that, like, shelf stable chew that a lot of, like, pre made pizzas have. Pre made pizza crusts have. Like, this is basically a McPizza for taco chains. Which, man, if I could try a taco, or if I could try any stupid discontinued item, it'd probably be that. Like, how badly could McDonald's mess up a pizza? I must know. Um, strangely enough, like, the Dorito Crunchies are, you know, the tortilla, the tortilla chips are one of the most flavorful parts of it, just because, like, corn can be a very overwhelming flavor, if you let it be. That said, it is a welcome reprieve from the saltiness of the, of the beef, which, it says something when the tortilla strips are less salty than the taco meat. Again, I've said in the past, the uh, Taco John's taco meat is less a taco meat and more, <coughs> you know, kind of like one of those like chili drawers you'd have for a hot dog. Try to get some tomatoes back on there. There's not a lot of health on this pizza, but I'm gonna try to get what I can out of that nutrition wise. I will say though, like the beans are a lot less noticeable here than they are on the taco or on the Casey's pizza. I think it's because the beef is so salty. It overwhelms the flavor. And remember, I'm very uh I almost want to say sensitive to bean paste. Like, when I got those, uh, when I got that Beyond Beef Jerky that was made with mung beans, after a while it just tasted like beans to me, and I got, and I got sick. I'm pretty sure it was psychosomatic, though. Like, it's not because it was vegan, it's because I don't like beans. You know. The only beans I find very tolerable are, is soybeans, specifically in tofu. Although I did once have... I can't remember if, that's, if this is what they actually were, but I remember someone once handing me a roasted legume of some kind and telling me it was a roasted soybean, and it tasted pretty decent. I was at a farm when I was a kid. Because, you know, when you're a kid, they take you to farms as a field trip.
when I was like kindergarten or first grade, I think. I had moved to Glenwood by then, but I can't remember much else. Honestly, there's not much else to talk about here. Like, the crust is very, um... Here, let's try to isolate some of the crust. That's the new part. Um... You know what really amped this up? And like this is gonna sound disgusting, but if they're already making a pizza, they may as well go all the way. Deep fry the crust before you put the toppings on. Make it like a make it like the enchilada from or the the what is it called? The chalupa from Taco Bell. Anyway. I got about three more pizzas here, but I think those will have to wait for dinner. I'm miserably full. But that's going to be it for me today. Y'all have a good one. This is Royce Miller. I'm out of here.